One local chef with roots in Chinatown has experienced all of that good fortune and then some during this Lunar New Year. Our Ryan Yamamoto has a story of the Fang Dynasty. One of the most cherished elements of Asian culture is food, and this year, local chef Kathy Fang burst onto the scene as a new face of Chinese cuisine, even landing her own reality show on national TV. I had a chance to sit down with her to talk about her new celebrity, the pressure of representing her culture, and the gift this exposure has given to her family's legacy. Alrighty. The lunch rush is on and Kathy Fang is on the move. <laughs> Talking to staff, taking orders, running her restaurant Fang on Howard Street just south of Market. Where it may come as a surprise for those who have watched her on the Food Network show Chef Dynasty House of Fang. <laughs> seeing the newest celebrity chef in the middle of the grind. A lot of people will come in now and be like, oh my God. You're here, you're, you're like actually work here? I'm like, yes. That work ethic instilled by her father, Peter Fang, the longtime owner for 34 years of the House of Nanking in Chinatown. That's pretty nice. The reality show capturing that daughter-father relationship. And I love that. I love seeing that people relate to it. I got letters of people saying, you know, it brought tears to my eyes because it reminded me of my relationship with my dad. Peter Fang, her dad, quietly the star of the show. My dad loves it. Like, I can already <laughs> tell because one, business is booming. And my dad now sees people come in and they want to take pictures with him. Peter! But outside the newfound celebrity, the show also featuring an all Asian American cast for the first time on Food Network, something Kathy admits was a weight on her shoulders. There's definitely a lot of pressure on just the fact that, you know, we, we're kind of being the face of Asian Americans, and I want to make sure I represent our culture. Um, in the best light possible. Representing the culture, representing Chinese cuisine while also fighting stereotypes. The conception that, oh, Chinese food has to be cheap. Look, Chinese food can be more than that. We can pair with wine. We can be elevated. We can do all of these things. Chef Dynasty definitely raising her profile, but after watching the final episode this past week, Kathy says the show is not about her brand. I had this epiphany. If this does well, then this is a message to Food Network and many other networks that the audience want to watch more shows that have more diverse backgrounds. Chef Dynasty can spawn off, you know, after House of Fang. It could be House of Rodriguez. It could be House of Nakamura. But the proudest moment for Kathy Fang is the gift the show gives her family. It almost makes me want to here, but I'm going to try not to. After more than three decades in the restaurant business, she had always worried her family's story and legacy would slowly disappear and be forgotten. And now he's like, what we created will never disappear. There is a hard copy of it. If there's anything that I can do to give back to my family for what they have created, this is really honestly like the best gift. The gift of family, the gift of tradition, just in time, well, Chef Dynasty House of Fang season one wrapped up this last week, but you can still stream it on the Food Network. Yeah, they're still waiting to hear back whether they'll get a season two, but our fingers are crossed.